Hello, Long Branch public school family. Uh, let's get to it. There's a lot going on in the world right now, and certainly a lot going on in our little city here, our little community. Uh, first and foremost, I think we've got to point out that so many people are hurting right now. I mean, there's just such mixed sentiment in, of confusion and being scared, being concerned, and really just not knowing exactly what to do. I mean, on the bright side, we do have so many people from all different walks of life joining together to rebuke racism and hatred, not just in our city, but throughout the world. And I think we all certainly have a part in that. You know, last week in our city, I think to a start, last week in our city, a group promptly organized, uh, probably within 24, 48 hours, a, a very quick protest where hundreds of people came out and actually walked the streets of Broadway. They gathered peacefully on the steps of City Hall, and essentially they, they were mourning, but also healing together, which is a good thing. You know, in our schools, the conversation continues. Uh, and I want you to know our school administrators, our principals, our actually our supervisors, everybody, coordinators, district leadership team in its entirety, uh, we really opened the door to having a conversation about race, about injustice and inequities, not just in society, but specifically in our system. And I believe it was a start of many courageous conversations that have to happen in every organization and certainly in our schools. We've made, it, uh, we've made a pact and a, uh, an agreement and a challenge to each other to make sure that this conversation that we started uh, continues in every school, in every leadership team meeting, in every learning community, in every classroom, in every seat to every child. You see, the message has to get down to the children or else the message isn't as meaningful as we need it to be. So for the last week of school, we are looking through resources and finding the right words to have those conversations with children about race. You know, for, it's going to look different from a preschool classroom to a high school classroom, but certainly we need to open this door. And this conversation can't stop with a march. Uh, it can't stop with a video message. It's got to continue, and it's got to be something we truly believe. You know, schools are built for certain reasons, and one of the things most of us do realize is, is that many students actually uh, define their value in life um, and their, their, their sense of worth and then their, their overall voice. They, that happens at school. So parents, when you trust us with your, your child or your children, you trust that we're going to build them up and make them realize their value in this world. And you pass them on hoping that we teach them to find their voice. All too often I'm hearing people criticize how other people are protesting. And I, I just want to share with you this. It's really important. When we do our job right and we're purposeful and intentional and we teach children to find their voice at a very young age, they don't need to scream as adults. I mean, unless you have children like mine and then occasionally you will. I'm just kidding there, but it really, on a serious note, if we teach children how to find their voice and exercise their voice when they're young, then their voice transcends. It, it, it carries influence. It carries weight, and it begins to change the world, and that's what we need to happen at a very young age, and that's what we're attempting to do in our schools. You know, our Board of Education, uh, many of you know each and every member because they're community members just like you. They've been to our school. Some of them have worked here. Some have graduated high school here. And they are just so committed, fiercely committed to making sure that any act of racism or hatred that exists in, in our schools or our community is stopped immediately. So this, I hope you realize, this isn't just a, com this isn't just a conversation. It's not a compliance exercise to check off a box that we had this conversation. It's something deep and meaningful, and I, and I hope it connects to you today. Uh, because I know our work in this area uh, is just begun. And we, we, we all collectively need to know that we are stronger together when we're unified 
uh, and, and we all need to be part of this conversation. So uh, that was my start today, um, and essentially this might be my last message of the school year before graduation, because this is the last week we were filming our graduation when we've seen so many positive things happen over the last week. So at this time, I am going to transition my energy a little bit, and I'm going to transition into some of our social media shout outs, um, because we still want to acknowledge the great work that's happening. So a couple of shout outs we want to... Um, call out on social media. We're going to start with at Wiggins Fab 5. At Wiggins Fab 5 on Twitter. Uh, Lucky's been working for us over at the Morris Avenue School. She's worked with us for a long time. Uh, if you want to get educated, take a look. She retweeted Raul underscore Rivera 732 from Long Branch High School. Uh, check it out if you want to get educated. So a shout out to Lucky and Raul there. On Instagram, I mean, I don't even know whose account you go on right now because everybody at the high school, from counselors to parents uh, and certainly the school administrators who spent hours upon hours in their 372 graduations uh, this week, uh, I was happy to be part of probably about 100 of them, uh, but those uh, men and women stood out there on those steps making sure that our children felt special. And a lot of that activity is captured on Instagram. So if you're not following uh, some of that uh, fabulous crew over there, please check out what they're putting. Uh, it, it's simply amazing and heartwarming. And I think that the energy from the community was super positive. So uh, check out almost any staff member of the Long Branch High School right now on Instagram. There's so many great things happening. Uh, we also have Principal Riley over at the middle school on Twitter, at LBMS Riley on Twitter. He put out some real specific direction about what's happening next week for graduation for our eighth graders. So we didn't forget you. We have a live graduation uh, next week, those micro graduations, uh, all three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, the, he puts out a video that tells you exactly when to get there and what they have for you. Uh, so uh, please check that out. And, and last but certainly not least, a shout out uh, for you. And it's really just a call to your attention. I want to call to your attention next week. June 10th uh, on Facebook, on, on our Facebook page, and we're going to put it right up here for you to see, on our YouTube channel, uh, we are going to broadcast live and starting at 12 p.m. for the middle school. That's going to be a live broadcasted graduation at 12 p.m. on June 10th. And the high school graduation will start at 5 p.m. on June 10th. Now, we are also running some of the high school scholarships for seniors. We are announcing and running that just before graduation. So tune in about 4.15, 4.30 to our Facebook page, to our YouTube channel, which you'll find right here. Uh, and then we are going live. And the great thing about that is if you miss a segment or miss a component, as soon as the airing finishes for the first live introduction, you can play that back as many times as you want. So that's basically all I have. I want you to just stay together. Let's stay strong, Long Branch. Thank you, and let's, let's finish the school year on a real high note.